How do you switch a coil on the high side? How do you switch the power supply on and off to a coil? I want the negative back EMF, so I will have to switch high side. And to do so with an NMOSFET that is really fast in switching capabilities and high current and high voltages, uh, like the IRFP460A can, you have to do a little trick. There are several tricks out there and some are hard and some are easy and I found the easiest way to do this and I'll show you. What I'm doing is reusing the negative voltage back EMF. To produce it you have to switch on the high side of the coil and um, I used to use a pulse gate drive transformer and it was really hard to learn. Uh, finally I realized it and uh, it's just not good enough. I don't like it. I switched to another device and it's really easy. I just use a battery, a 12 volt battery, and it's riding on top of the source voltage. So it's grounded with a negative of the battery to the source. Now the source changes in, in voltage. The gate has to be positive relative to the source of the MOSFET to be able to switch the MOSFET on. When the MOSFET switches on, the source that was ground voltage becomes the power supply positive voltage. So it goes up. Therefore if you just drive the gate with a voltage and that voltage of the source changes it won't properly switch. At least not to produce negative back EMF. What you simply do is take a power supply that rides on top of the source voltage. And this power supply uh, supplies power to the pulse generator and supplies power to the uh, gate driver IC to quickly switch the MOSFET on and off. This method for me is the, the, the easiest. Uh, you could build one yourself. It's not that hard if you're into in electronics. It's simply a 5 for 5 uh, timer chip and because those are very hard to, to perfectly get 50% duty cycle, uh, you use a flip-flop. A flip-flop gets the signal from the 555 and the output of the flip-flop is half the frequency of the 555, but uh, exactly 50% duty ratio. And that's what I always want. So this uh, signal of the flip-flop it doesn't have power to drive a gate therefore I connect the flip-flop output to a uh, gate drive uh, IC. I like my pulse generator a lot more than the 505 chip because it's easier to work with it has internal memory and yeah it makes my life easy. It has a nice display with a frequency on it. The only thing is it works off 5 volts and to switch the gate the best voltage would be 14 volts uh, but I use a, a battery 12 volts and sometimes it's a little bit higher so I need it 5 volt from the power supply now uh, today uh, in the world we live we've got these really cheap um, buck converters that make uh, any voltage into 5 volts and I just bought one for one euro. Uh, very cheap, but it works like a charm. So I've got my battery that is grounded on the source of the MOSFET, and that battery has a DC to DC buck converter that turns into 5 volts to power my pulse generator. And that output of the pulse generator is much too weak to switch the, the gate of the MOSFET, so I use a gate driver IC to give some uh, good punching power. And that's it. Really easy. And this way you get negative back EMF. Now be warned. If you <laughs> if you build this, and you start switching the coil and you want to produce a negative back EMF, keep in mind 
that you keep the power supply off at zero volts when you turn on the switching device and you watch that source voltage with an oscilloscope because these back EMF spikes will become very negative very fast if you do it properly and um, you, you have to keep in mind that the MOSFET is only able to switch a certain amount of voltage in case of the IRFP uh, 460A that is a maximum absolute maximum of 500 volts if I remember correctly so yeah you don't want to go over that and it's easy to do with back EMF so slowly power up the power supply and keep in mind that that voltage is there that way you will not uh, suffer as I did because I blew up a lot of MOSFETs but hey that's uh, part of the game and that's how I learn this is all part of my open source research and if you want to donate there is a link in the description to my PayPal account. For those who already have donated, thank you very much for your kind donations. It's very much appreciated.